everybody today I'm going to show you how to make a crawling centipede these are the items that we're going to need to do this project we're going to need a selection of pens paints or pencils four 16 centimeter pipe cleaners A hard nibbed type pen or something sharp and a piece of corrugated card for punching holes. A pair of safety scissors, some Pritt stick type glue and a small amount of sticky tape. To make this project very easy I've created a template which you can follow the links below the video and then upload and print these directly onto paper. You will then need two separate sheets of A4 paper to make two paper sticks. If you haven't got the template you will need to make your own shapes so you'll need a five centimeter circle or the Debezi circle making gadget. So if you have got your template this is what it will look like and what we're going to do with this is colour in all the body sections and head and antennae and then we're going to fold along the fold line and then cut out each of these little shapes. If you haven't got the template and you need to make your own you'll need to take a sheet of A4 paper and fold it in half and then along this fold line you will need a circular shape which measures five centimeters or you could use a Debezi circle making gadget which you'll find a separate tutorial for so Place your circle against the folded line like this so that you've got a straight line that's two centimeters wide. Draw around the circle until you've got this shape. Place two small dots at this point. So this is a five centimeter circle and you need to repeat this eight times to make eight separate body segments. To make the head and the antennae, do the same thing with the circle shape. Make marks like this and create more of an oval, larger head shape rather than a circular shape. And then draw in your centipede's face. This is how I've created my face, but you can draw your face however you want your centipede to look then you need to draw the antennae so from the fold line draw a shape that resembles this and then you should be ready to carry on with the project. So once you've got your template ready, it's now time to start colouring in. So choose what colours you want to have your centipede. If you want to make your centipede the same colour all over, that's fine. You can do dots, you can do stripes, you can do zigzags. For this one, I've chosen sort of wobbly stripes and I've done green, yellow and pink just to give you an idea of what you can do. So choose what colours you want to do and then we're ready to start colouring in. When you colour in, don't worry about staying within the guidelines. Colour 
outside of the guidelines because we're going to be cutting these shapes out so you won't see them so have fun and colour in your centipede when you do the face just be careful to go around the eyes that we've got on our template fill in your eyes whichever colour you want them to be when you've coloured in your centipede you then need to fold along this top fold line make sure this is very straight and accurate and then we're going to cut around each of these pieces so very carefully cut around these black lines don't cut along that folded edge and then when you've completed that fold along the bottom fold line and then cut around the shapes like before when this is completed you're now ready to start making holes so your tail and your head have only got one hole all the body parts have got two holes so take your corrugated cardboard and your hard nibbed pen or sharp implement and then push firmly through this black dot through the corrugated card and make sure the pen goes all the way through so you've got a hole that's big enough for the pipe cleaners to go through so carry on doing this to all the body parts so two holes in every body part and then one hole in the head and one hole in the tail part then it's take the antennae piece decide which way you want your antenna to sit and put a little bit of glue on both sides of the folded edge and then place it carefully into the head part so that it sits like this when it's dry if you want to curl the antennae you can so leave that to dry now take one of your pipe cleaners fold it in half and cut it into two pieces each piece should measure about eight centimeters so let's do this to four pieces of pipe cleaner and then to each cut piece fold it in half like this And now it's time to start assembling so take the tail piece the flat edge needs to be along the bottom and the hole needs to be on the right hand side so take your first body part if your pipe cleaner doesn't go through easily you need to make your holes a little bit bigger so push the pipe cleaner through one side then through both sides of the tail on the other side of the body piece and then close down and at the bottom just bend to make the feet so let's do that again push through one side the front side of a body section push through both sides of the previous body section and then through the back side of this body section pull through and then bend his feet afterwards so repeat this all the way through through one side both sides back side and then bend the feet and then when you get to the head be careful because you've put glued the antennae in place same again through the front side and then through the back side and bend his feet now just check 
that all the parts move easily you might need to open the legs like this just check that it all moves freely and now we're ready to apply the paper sticks now these paper sticks I have done a separate tutorial which you can find how to make them basically you just roll a piece of A4 paper and then colour them in to match your centipede cut the end off flatten the end and bend apply a small amount of Pritt stick glue and then place this way up onto the bottom of the head section take a small amount of sticky tape and just place carefully over the top to reinforce and then let's do the same again snip off the end flatten and bend the end apply a small amount of Pritt stick glue and place to the second body part from the tail and then again a small amount of sticky tape just to secure and reinforce make sure that the sticky tape doesn't touch or stop the adjoining body parts from moving and now ready to teach your centipede how to crawl and I think the centipede has gone out into the garden to have a go you'll find if you twist your wrists you can make the head and the tail move up and down and then by moving one hand up and the other hand down whilst twisting your wrist you can make your centipede really crawl almost dance oh there's tinsel hello tinsel I think the centipede wants to play look he's showing you how he can crawl don't you want to play tinsel I think dinky might want to oh no dinky's having a rest I don't think she wants to play either you're going to have to go and play and crawl on your own today centipede I hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have please like and subscribe to my channel enjoy playing with your crawling centipedes and hopefully see you again soon